In the Great Lakes region, the indigenous of this area, such as the Ojibwe, worshipped and told stories of a spirit trickster that had the ability to shapeshift and had the power of gender fluidity. This ancient deity was known as Nanabozo, or also known as Nanabush. Nanabozo is often depicted as a rabbit and a trickster. Not only was Nanabozo a troublemaker, but also a hero in other stories. Nanabozo also played an important role in the creation of the world, including maple syrup. According to tradition, Nanabozo was sent to Earth by the Great Spirit, Gichi Manitu, to show and teach the Ojibwe people. Nanabozo is known to be the inventor of fishing and hieroglyphs. Nanabush's shape-shifting abilities include the form of ravens, coyotes, and hares. This represents the various phases and cycles of life in some of the indigenous cultures. The trickery associated with Nanabush is that they often cause mischief and breaking the rules. While stories told of Nanabush is for entertainment among the tribes, it is also noted that Nanabush experimented with capitalistic motives such as greed and manipulation. Eventually, Nanabush learns to consent and balance as well as relationships in the stories to develop a better personality and better morals. Therefore, making these traditional stories a great life lesson to teach to the people listening to them. The gender identity of Nanabozo changes depending on the story and who is telling it. Majority of the stories are told in him slash he pronouns, but others are told in she slash her pronouns. This makes the storytelling flexible to many audiences who need to hear teaching lessons. In one story where two legends meet, Nanabush fights the legendary giant lumberjack Paul Bunyan in order to prevent deforestation. Nanabozo confronts Paul Bunyan in Minnesota. They fought for 40 days and 40 nights. The fight ends with Nanabush slapping Paul Bunyan in the face with a Red Lake walleye fish. Bunyan stumbles after Nanabush pulls the whiskers out of his face. Paul left the area feeling sorry. Lake Bemidji of the area was formed with the shape of Paul Bunyan's buttocks after getting his butt whooped from Nanabush. The stories of Nanabozo were told throughout many generations among native families and tribes. We could picture an elder telling these stories of Nanabozo to misbehaved children of the village only for them to pass it on to their children one day, and then generation after generation to only be no longer worshipped after the arrival of the Europeans. Nanabozo is mainly forgotten in this day of age, but his slash her stories still live on through oral teachings, pictographs and petroglyphs that were left behind of the Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi indigenous peoples of the Great Lakes region. Nanabozo can still be visited and seen today in sacred places such as Mazinaw Rock in Bon Echo Provincial Park in Ontario, Canada and the Peterborough Pictograph Site in Southern Ontario, Canada. Thank you for watching this brief video of a forgotten spirit. The next one will be about the Great Serpent of the Great Lakes. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more content similar to this. As always, stay curious my friends.